Welcome back to Working Dog Wednesday. My name is Derek Rose, I'm your host with Dallas K9. I've teamed up with my good friend Stan Smith over at X Dog. And today I have one of our trainers by the name of Xander with his puppy King Kong. And today what we're going to do is show you guys how we teach the rear end awareness. We're gonna start with the uh, first step that we use once the dog has already learned how to place both front feet onto the box. We're gonna show how we get the dog to commit going to the left and commit going to the right using his rear end. So Xander, will you start off by placing your puppy on the box and demonstrating to everyone how you get him to use his rear end. Go to your right. Reward. Go to your right. Reward. Go to your left. Reward. Go to your left. Reward. All right, stop right there. So what he's doing is when the dog gives just a slight effort of giving him the behavior that he's requesting, he's using the yes as his marker and rewarding the dog with the food that he's, he has in each one of his hands. As you can see, he's standing straight up. He doesn't have the food right in front of his midsection. He has the food on left and right. And the dog has to stay focused on the center of the, the handler and not on each hand. And that comes from switching hands on your reward. Not just always rewarding the dog out of your right hand, switching over to your left hand as well and giving rewards out of that hand. And that will keep your dog thinking and staying centered instead of leaning to the left and leaning to the right. So now what we're gonna do is demonstrate how he gets this dog to go into a full circle, left and right, and then full circle into a heel position. Xander is using luring a little bit to get his dog into the heel position. The ideal picture for me is for the dog to find that behavior on his own and reward it. But there's no right and wrong way to do it here. So go ahead and demonstrate that for him, Xander. As, as you can see, the dog is using only the rear end. Keep going. In, in a way. Reward. Okay, this time go and then put the dog into the heel position. Go ahead, put him in the heel. Your reward. Do it again. Put him into the heel position, facing the camera. Reward. Okay, that's how we teach the rear end awareness. The important reasoning behind teaching rear end awareness, if you're in a canine competition and you're getting ready to make a left turn, it looks really good and sharp when your dog swings his rear end around when you make that left turn. Same thing when you're making an about turn. When you're getting ready to make the about turn, you're placing your left foot, pivoting, and the dog should pivot and swing his butt around when you're doing that. If you use this method, I promise you, if you're consistent with your marker and you're consistent with rewarding the dog a lot, like a slot machine, you will see really, really good results if you use that method. Thank you for tuning in. See you next Wednesday.